Hi students. This is going to be the shortest video ever. I'm sure you're glad. <laughs> but what I'm going to talk about now is we can apply everything we've learned from Lewis dot structures and valence shell electron pair repulsion theory to describe the geometry of molecules that have more than one central atom. So if I take a look on methanol, what I notice is both carbon and oxygen are surrounded by more than one atom. So as a result, they are not exterior or external atoms. They're internal. So both carbon and oxygen are central atoms. Notice there's no way you could have put and switched the hydrogen and the oxygen in this case, because then hydrogen would have two bonds, and that's never going to happen because hydrogen wants a duet only. It can only form one bond. That's why we see the hydrogen as an exterior atom always. So oxygen has to be in the middle in this compound. So because we have two central atoms, we got to be able to name their molecular geometry separately. And how do we do that? We use what we've been doing all the time. If we look at the carbon, it has a molecular geometry of tetrahedral. Its electron pair geometry is tetrahedral too. It's the same because it has no lone pairs. But if we notice, the reason why the molecular geometry is tetrahedral, it has four atoms attached to it. It has a hydrogen, two hydrogen, three hydrogen, and this oxygen right there. So it has four electron groups. So that is tetrahedral. The four groups are all atoms. So the molecular geometry, not just the electron geometry, is tetrahedral. Now, when we look at the oxygen, I'm going to use a different color. Oxygen also has, if we look, four electron groups. It has one lone pair, two lone pair. The third group is this hydrogen atom. And the fourth group is this carbon atom. So oxygens. Four electron groups means it also has an electron geometry of tetrahedral. What is different is its molecular geometry. Its molecular geometry is bent. Why? The molecular geometry is different than the electron geometry when we have lone pairs. So remember, we don't see these lone pairs when we're just looking at the molecule. All we see is this bent shape. And that also, as the last video indicated, it distorts the bond angle. So the bond angle between carbon and hydrogen here, because it's only surrounded by atoms, is 109.5, because carbon has no lone pairs. If you look at the bond angle right here between the hydrogen and the carbon, it's been slightly distorted because these lone pairs are squeezing it. And this bond angle is less than 109.5. So I hope that helps you in understanding if there are multiple central atoms, I can still determine the molecular geometry for all of the central atoms and their distorted bond angles. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.